M. Fletcher Brown here with another artist video blog at Kicks96Country.com. Thanks for being here. Our guest today, all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, by way of Minnesota, please welcome Sebastian Roberts. Hey, Sebastian. Hi, everybody. How are you? This is probably this Double D. This is his guitar player and uh, his uh, road manager. Pretty much uh, all around, you kind of do everything. I'm the blues brother that carries the briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> so Double D, Sebastian Roberts is in here to talk about Unwanted Man. That's the name of the album, Unwanted Man. Sebastian, this is actually your debut album, right? It, well, it is. You know, I, I cut one uh, uh, last year with a cat named Tommy Tutone, if you all remember Tommy. Oh, yeah, 8675309. Yeah, so, so me and uh, Tommy cut a, a five-song EP last year, and then uh, that uh, gathered the interest of a couple of uh, investors that wanted me to come down and cut a, an entire full-length album, and I was just jumping up and down, you know, because it was like that cigar moment. Where someone lit up like a cigar, sticks their hand out, you know, and so my hair is standing up, and I said, "Yeah, sure, I'll cut another record," you know, and and uh, so I was blessed enough to be able to come down and, and work with uh, Mark Oliverius and John Albany and Lori Morgan and, and uh, some of the greatest cats in the business. Yeah, it's really been neat. But you've been playing since you were a small child. You started writing and playing about fifteen. Right? Oh, you, well, yeah, on a, on a bigger level. Uh, I found out. I even forgot about this, but I ran into a cat at uh, a local club back home. And he says, you know, he says, I remember you, Sebastian, when we were in third grade. And I said, what? How oh, do you remember mm -hmm. third grade? He said, you played Smoke on the Water in front of the whole elementary school. And in I said, third oh, grade? I did. Yeah, I remember that now. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So I've been going at it for quite some time. Well, Smoke on the Water, I mean, that's a, that's obviously like a huge classic rock tune, Deep Purple. Oh, yeah. Is that where you draw most of your musical influence from? Or well, where, where did you come to country? It's kind of, it's kind of tough because, uh, uh, my father was very much country, you know, he was very Willie Nelson, you know, the Highwaymen, and and uh, my mom was more of the Roberta Flack, uh, Janis Joplin uh, kind of person, uh, so I, I kind of drew from all of that, and, uh, uh, you know, I didn't want to even listen to country when I was a kid, because it, I, didn't either. I was a rebellious kid, you know, and, and uh, I was just into motorcycles and trouble, and, and uh, uh, as I got older, uh, I, uh, I found my niche. And it was somewhere between that classic, you know, 70s uh, rock and roll edge and, and, and true country. So I kind of blended it together. It's, it's sort of a crossover, but it's still country to me. All right. <laughs> well, then, well, let's talk about the album. Then we're talking about Unwanted Man, your debut album. Of course, you've got the duet, um, Dress for the Rain, with Lori Morgan. Right. All right. And your current single is still country to me. Right. Uh, do you write all of these songs, or are these some of these songs? No, it's a matter. All right. As a matter of fact, uh, when I was uh, shopping the record, uh, I was going to call it Homage because I have some favorite writers out there like Jeffrey Steele and Nicholson and Rawson and Tommy Barnes, the cat daddy of them all. And, and uh, so originally I was going to call it Homage. Uh, and then uh, I sat down with Tommy Barnes in Nashville and uh, he came to me with Unwanted Man and the whole, the whole world flipped over. All of a sudden there was a picture of this wanted poster with an unwanted man on it, you know, and uh, my wife and I designed uh, everything on there. And, and uh, the idea kind of sprung from there. So there's only one track that, uh, that I solely wrote, and that was He Lied. Uh, and the rest of them are Jeffrey Steele and Rawson, Nicholson, Tommy Barnes. I mean, the best in the business. And all of these are songwriters that you're mentioning. Most, many of them have been here in Kiss Country from all oh, sure. music or live. Oh, absolutely. And we're friends with uh, a number of them, especially Tommy Barnes. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. really? Oh, well, Tommy, he's, he's a cat dad yeah. right there, yeah. So, all right, now I noticed that um, on your website, you know, uh, you've got uh, a list of tour dates. Uh, are those mostly radio station tours, or are you playing? Right now, we're doing a lot of radio. This is this is all radio. It's, it's a blast. Uh, you, you know, when they ask me to go out on the road and, and talk about my record, you know, you can't you, you can't get in a better uh, suit than that. But um, we're doing some picking. Uh, when we got to Nashville, we played a little bit over at the Palace and down there at Tootsie's and the stage, and and uh, uh, but mostly it's like three, four, or five radio stations a day. Man, yeah. so you got a full plate, but you got the great, you got great spring weather for it. Oh, we do. It's really been nice, and what, we met some of the most beautiful people out here. I believe you know we're like nine thousand miles into this thing now. I went all the way up to California, but it's it's up for five awards in uh, Los Angeles. Uh, it's got uh, it's nominated for record of the year, country album of the year, male vocalist of the year, and uh, country single of the year. We're dressed for the rain. Wow. Yeah, and then record of the year in Phoenix. Man, great new independent country artist. It's Sebastian Roger, Roberts is uh, you're making you're making tracks all over the country. We are you're making friends everywhere. You're making friends in Kicks Country. Absolutely, and I'll be back. Where can folks find you on the interweb? Is it like SebastianRoberts.com? Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, interesting thing is uh, a lot of people don't answer their own emails and Facebook stuff, and I do. 
So uh, when you hit me on the SebastianRoberts.com or, or at the Facebook, uh, I'm the one you're going to be talking with. What about Still. Twitter? Do you, do you tweet too? Well, I guess so. It's, it seems to be all links. As soon as I put something <laughs> on Facebook, all of a sudden I'm on Twitter. And I was never going to be that Twitter guy because I, I don't like to yeah. know. No, I'm a twit. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian Roberts, our twit from Minnesota, <laughs> visited us here in Kings Country. The single, of course, it's still country to me. If you want to hear it, call us at Kings 96 and we'll be happy to play it for you. Sebastian, thanks for coming. That one will let you on fire. Thank you all so very much. All right, we'll see you again next. Oh, Double D, thank you so much also no for thank driving him down here. Did you <laughs> have to with him? Oh, yeah. Just the two of you guys on the road? Oh, yes, sir. All right, well, two unwanted men, remember that's the name of the album, unwanted men. We'll see you next time at kings96country.com.